so this is gone this is gone you're left with one why hey some nigerians welcome back to the school of mathematics nigeria it is rose and today we'll be talking about factorization we just concluded factors multiples hcf lcm if you look clearly you can see the word factor from factorization so factorization is the breaking down of numbers or expressions into factors so factors are those numbers or expressions that when you multiply together you would get the initial number or expression right clearly you would see that we have two types of factorizations we have the prime factorization and the algebraic factorization for the prime factorization it's your number this two times three times five are factors of 30 because when you multiply them you get 30. also these are all the factors of 30. we are asked to find the prime factors it is definitely the prime numbers which are two three and five in this case the rest are not prime numbers do you get that so these are prime factors of 30 this in another case you have the algebraic factorization and that's the one that we would be dealing with so if you remember clearly from our previous videos you know that expressions do not have equal sign so you're given an expression like this and you're asked to factorize it because so these are the factors of this expression this is a factor of this expression and this is also a factor of this expression so this is an algebraic factorization it's different from your prime factorization so let's solve examples so you would understand better we have a video on expansion so i'll link it somewhere so you can catch up but we had to treat factors before moving to factorization so when they say factorize an expression like this what we're trying to say is what is common what can go here that can also go here without any remainder remember your factors right remember your hcf the highest common factor of 5 and 10 is what you can go you know do the usual 5 10 5 can go here in both of them so 1 so you can do this all as well you know that 5 can go in 5 and 5 can also go in 10 without any remainder and that's the highest common factor right so 5 is common what are we left with we're left with x and we're left with 2 if you look at this very well you would see that this is expansion when you expand this you would get your given value so you see why factorization is the reverse of expansion open this bracket 5 times x is what 5x plus 5 times 2 is what 10 you would get your question let's solve something else okay here you'd see that we don't have any number at all we just have letters but what is common we have x here we don't have x here that's not common we have y here and we also have y here that's common so you have y so what's left here if you if you have if you have y outside you have x left here what's left here you have z so this is your answer if you expand this you would get this y times x is what x y y times z is what y z simple and straightforward right expanding this you have to take your time when you have so many things going on like numbers and letters take your time okay you can decide to do the division however you want it just make sure you take your time so if you look here you'll see that you have 35 and you have 10 you have to go and find the highest common factor what can go in 35 the highest number that can go in 35 and at the same time go in 10 is what can you think yes five five can go in 35 five is the highest number that can go in 35 and at the same time go in 10 so we're going to write five now you're not stopping there you have letters you have x and y you have x and y so this is where you have to be very careful the highest power of x here is two the highest power of x here is one so pick the one with the lower power which is this moving on to y the highest power here is 2, the highest power here is 3. Pick the lower power. Do you get that? So now when you divide, 35 divided by 5 is 7. 
So x in x square will be, you'll be left with one x. Y square and y, y square is gone. This is the same as doing division. Okay, moving on to the next one. 10 divided by 5 is what? 2. X cancels X. That's gone. Y cubed minus divided by Y square is you're left with just one Y. Y cubed is Y, Y, Y in three places. And Y square is Y, Y. Okay? So this is gone. This is gone. You're left with one Y. Or remember your indices. Y cubed divided by Y square is the same as Y cubed minus 2. The division changes the power. The division means you subtract the parts, right? So you're left with y. So you could just do it anyhow you want it. But if you look at this answer, when you open this bracket, when you expand it, you get your question. So you see how expansion is the reverse of factorization. Good. First things first, look at your numbers. What's the highest common factor of 15 and 9? What's the highest value that can go in both 15 and 9? The highest is 3. Good. So you have 3. Now moving to the letter. You have A here. You have A here. Which one has the lower power? A square. You have B. You have B here. Which one has the lower power? B. Then you open your bracket. Right? So 15 divided by 3 is 5. A cubed divided by A squared is well, left to 1 A. B divided by B, that's gone. You move, write your sign, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3. A squared divided by A squared, that's gone. B squared divided by 1 B, that's 1 B left. Right? So when you open this, you would get this. I hope that makes sense. So this is yours to do. So this is your assessment to do. Okay, so I hope you're able to understand factorization. We're going to do factorization by grouping in the next class and you will understand further. But you see that it is straightforward, easy peasy, right? Just make sure you know how to find factors. Make sure you know how to find HCF and you will be good with your factorization. Now, do not forget to please like this video if you enjoyed. Share it, of course. Leave your answers in the comment section. Somebody will be there to chat you up even if I'm not there. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And as for the Sum Ninjas, thank you so much for still being here. Thank you for 5,000 of you. I'm grateful. And do not forget, check the description box so you can follow us on other social media platforms. I'll see you in the next class.